Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now to make the witch's hat, all you're going to need is a black plate. Now this was just a plastic plate and I painted it black. Now you're going to need to make like the top sort of witchy part of your hat. And how I made this is actually with this. I used this phone shape to do the stick to weave all the paper sticks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make this first. The tutorial on how to actually make the sticks is on my channel. I'll put a link to that at the end. So I'm going to show you how to make this part first. Now you need a cone or something similar. It's a lot easier if you've got something to weave around. Just like we did with the wedding wreath and the Christmas wreath, we weaved around a can to keep the shape. Now all this is, is a piece of cardboard from a cardboard box. Just cut a big circle and then cut up the middle of the circle halfway and then roll it into a cone shape. Once you've made one of these, you can reuse it. You can make it as big as you want, as big as the circle that you've made, or you can make it smaller. It's up to you. Now, you need four long sticks. And as I'm weaving, I just keep adding a new stick to it. So I'll move that out of the way. And I'm going to move these sticks out of the way just now as well. Now, to start off, you need four long sticks. Now, what you're going to do with them is equally place them so that you have equal gaps between your sticks. Just squash it down so you have equal spacing around. Now, take your cone and put your cone in the middle like that. So that's what we're going to do with that. Now, what if you need, you can put a little bit of weight on there, a small book or something, if you need that to hold it. Now, just take, take a smaller stick, and what you're going to do is, you're going to fold over the end. I'll zoom in a little bit. So you're going to fold over the end of your stick like this. Put some glue on it here and here. Now we're going to glue this stick to this stick. Just glue it to one of your other sticks. Now glue it so that the edge of this stick comes along the edge of your cone and glue it on. It won't take long to dry. Now that's going to hold that. Now I'm going to move it over here a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So what you're going to do is hold your cone and take this stick and you're going to wrap it over the top of this stick. I'll zoom in a little bit more just to show you that. So take, take this stick and wrap it over this stick. Bring it along the edge of your cone. Now take this stick here, let that go. Take this stick and wrap it over this stick. Take this stick wrap it over that one and then take this one and wrap it over the top. We're going to weave all the way around the cone like this. It will move a little bit but once you get up that cone a little bit you can let it go. So wrap that one over that one. Wrap that one over that one. Try and keep an equal distance with your sticks. Wrap that one over that one. And that brings us back to the beginning. Now wrap that one over that one. 
and continue doing this all the way around your cone. Just keep weaving. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit loose at the bottom. So just keep weaving around your cone. Bring your sticks up the side of the cone like this. You can let that go now. All the way around. Now when your sticks get too short, just take another stick and we're going to feed it inside that one. You can glue it, but you don't have to. Just make sure you push it well in. Make sure it gets pushed well in. Take this one over that one. I'm going to add another stick on. Just keep pushing them on like that. Now this one needs another stick. Just push it well in. You can glue it, it's up to you. Now just keep working your way around the cone. Just adding a new stick when you need it around and around. Like this, all the way around. Try and keep it close into your cone. And then you can add more sticks. Now what you're going to do is you're going to weave all the way up the cone. It'll get smaller and smaller as it goes up. So I'll get some more of that done and I'll come back and show you what it's like. Now I'm weaving my way up the cone, going around and around and just weaving the sticks, adding a new one when they all get short. I'm just popping them in as long as they go in really nice and tight. You don't need to glue them. You can glue them if you're not sure about them. It's up to you. Just pop them in and continue weaving around and around the cone. Just like this. Now don't worry if some of the gaps look further apart than the others. It will all come together. So I'm just going to continue to weave up the cone and keep going, building it up to the top. So once I get to the top, I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to snip these sticks on the bottom. Just snip them like that, pull them out of the way. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our cone out. Take your cone out and keep that for the next time. And there we go. <laughs> I love the way this weaves up. It weaves up absolutely amazing. Now, to finish off the top, just trim your sticks. Trim your sticks like this. And what you're going to do is you're just going to get some glue and put it on your sticks like this. Now, just bend that one over. And you can just tuck it into the top like that. Put some glue on the ends of your sticks and around the top. And all you're going to do is just tuck all your ends. And you can get a clip and clip it if you want. 
Just take all your ends up and push them inside that top. Just tuck them in there out of the way. Take your next stick, tuck it in and down inside there. So I'll get myself a peg and I'll hold that in. It's holding in all right. And the ones on the bottom, just do the same. Take that one around. Tuck it in. Just tuck them in down there. Just tuck your ends in, you can glue it if you want. And then all you need to do is just give it a little wriggle. Wriggle it up a little bit so it makes it a little bit taller. Just wriggle it up. And there you go. And that's it. Now you've got your little tree part made. Like, or this little pointy part of the hat. Now you can, if you want, take that out and spray it or paint it black. It's up to you, but Halloween is only for one night. I think if you leave it like this, then you can take it back, take all your sweets off it and the decoration of it. Then you can actually have this as a Christmas tree. So what we're going to do with this is, I've got some pumpkin orange ribbon. This is going to be so, so simple. You can actually just shove that into the top and run it around like that. Just pop that in there, the lollipop stick. Just push that part into the top. Now all you need to do is just wind it around. Now the thing about this is, just use your imagination. Use what you have around you. And most people have some things to do with Halloween. Halloween is just like orange and black. So even if you just wrap some, wrap some ribbon around it, all I'm going to do with this part is again, I'm just going to use this over top stick. And I'm actually just going to stick it inside there, that end of that ribbon, like that. Stick that in there. Now that gives you the basis of your, of your little witchy hat. Now you can spray it, like I said already. So what I've got now is, I've got two sets of these. These are just little battery operated LED lights and they're quite small and they're fantastic for this. Now I've got two sets, they're only £1.49 a set. Now look at that, that looks really, really pretty. Now what I'm going to do is, before it's got all those nice little sweetie colours on it, all I'm going to do is, I'm going to lift the top part of the witching part up. I'm going to hide the battery pack inside there and all I'm going to do is just wind this around the plate. Now I don't want it to look like a Christmas tree so I'm actually just going to wind it around the bottom of the plate. It's up to you, you can do your decorating whatever way you want. Now what I've also got is I've got a nice big bag of sweeties. I've got a big bag of lollipops and goodies. Now all you're going to do is just poke your lollipops through the holes, make through the go and um, be in a little bit snug. You don't want them too tight that when the children pull the lollipops out that the whole thing is going to fall to pieces. So just pop your lollipops in. 
You can put your sweetie packet around the AG. These are my favourites. Have you noticed there's not very many of the little parts on there because I don't know. <laughs> and I love Parma Violet. Parma Violet and a Lola Park. I love them. So I'm just going to put them around about there. Just chuck them in. I'm going to stick the lollipop down. So that's it all done. It's really, really easy. To give it a try. So once again, thank you all very much for watching. Please subscribe. All you have to do is click on that little button that's here that says subscribe and subscribe to my channel. Help me to get a YouTube reward. The YouTube reward for 100,000 subscribers is a silver play button. And it's all in a nice big frame that I can put on my wall. So if you like the video, give the video the thumbs up, leave a comment. I always read all the comments, as you will notice if you look at some of the ones under the video. I do my best, 99% of the time I will reply to any comments, even if I'm just saying thank you. It's just, it, it's just nice to be nice. So once again, happy crafting, and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.